<laughs> hey, there we go. Hi, doll. How are you? Oh, okay. she's leaving already. She's gone. She's done. Too much sun. That's Natural bad. light. It, it'll make you ever Vincent. People chase people off until I start talking. So I, I just got to keep my mouth. Sweetheart, shut. it's Hi. been it's been a hot minute since I've seen that face. How are you? <laughs> yes. Well, um, first I'm of all, to get all dressed up. All my clothes are in storage, so I'm in a t-shirt. You look beautiful as always. <laughs> I'm um, going to storage tomorrow to get some of it out, so I'll be okay. Listen, should we should we talk about the elephant in the room vaguely? Because is this your first interview? Yes. Okay. So your first Not interview. The first one. <laughs> first one since the vacation. I'm yes. I'm honored since that you retreat. chose me. Although I did badger her and I threatened her and told her I will never speak to her again if she knows she. Yeah, knows. you did. You threatened me. She said I will never speak to you again unless Look, I absolutely have to. <laughs> Do you not know me by now? My tactics I work. I wasn't they surprised. Do. They're very, they're very effective. Um, so, you know, everybody knows the situation that you were in. Right. Um, Unfortunately. Can I ask, was this time different than the others? Did you go in with a different? Well, this, this was totally different. I got a driving on a suspension and I'm suspended from the old DUIs. So it's a mandatory six months in jail in New Jersey. And how long were you in there for? Well, I did my six months for that, but that violated the probation I was still on in Pennsylvania. So I had to max out that time and that was maxed out to May 21st. So I did just over 10 months, ten. fun stuff. But like I'm all done with that probation in Pennsylvania now. They can't do anything else to me. That five years of them sending me back all the time for sneezing in the wrong direction is done. It's over. <laughs> okay. Are you Seriously. clear in New Jersey? My PO in Pennsylvania was horrible. It, and it doesn't matter what I would do. If I was a half an hour late for an appointment, she would violate me and stick me in jail. It was just bullshit. But I'm done with them. It's all over. Done. So you're done. You're done with PA. What about New Jersey? Are you good in New Jersey? Yeah, I'm good here. You're good. <laughs> okay. You're good everywhere. Drive. I just can't drive. <laughs> can't drive. Okay. But we're, we're good. Because we're if, good I do, I get, if I do, when I get pulled over, it'll be another mandatory six months. I well, we're not going to get pulled over again. Right. I just can't we're not, not going to do that. We're not going to fuck around with all that stuff. That's done. Well, the problem was last year, I got a really pretty Jaguar F type convertible and I had to drive it. So, yeah. Me, I know. All right. First of all, <laughs> you're, you're smarter than this. I know. That's why I'm not driving now. Uber is my new best friend. Okay. Very, well, listen, <laughs> the, the thing that, that I've said over and over mm -hmm. is you have to learn from your mistakes. Right. So if, if you learned and you're moving on and you're, you're being the best you, you can mm -hmm. be, that's all anybody can ever ask. Correct. Right. Exactly. When, when you went in jail this time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what number it was, but when you went in this time, and yeah. I love you. I, I can teach you. Like this. <laughs> Did you go in with a different mindset? Like, because, you know, the first time I'm, I'm sure you were scared shitless. I mean, I would be, I would be yeah. anytime. Cause it's not, I, that you, it's not that bad. Give me, <laughs> no. give me an example of, a, okay. Give me an example. They make of it out to be a lot worse on TV than it actually is. So it's, it's, it, it's really not that bad. It's right. doable. You can make it. Stop. Through. Stop. <laughs> Give me, I'm going to kill her. Give me an example of a typical day. Do you get woken up at the crack of dawn by a warden no. threatening you? No. Okay. What happened? You tell me. You don't even have to wake up if you don't want to, but see, I, I'm serious, but see, I'm, I'm, di I'm diabetic. So they would come and wake me up at 4.30 every morning to do a sugar check and to give me insulin, 4.30 every morning. Well, that's I had to do it. You know, it's a medical thing. So you have to do it. Um, then I'd go back to sleep for a couple hours. And then um, usually around eight o'clock is when they pop your door and you can go out and watch TV and, you know, breakfast comes and all that stuff. I didn't eat a lot of their food though, because the food's horrible. But um, yeah, and then, but you don't, you, all you basically do is watch TV, play cards, you know, you can sleep all day if you want to. Um, there's a lot of girls who color, like those adult coloring books, so they're there coloring do all day. Do they provide, like, no, these you have to have that stuff sent in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Uh but there's no, like, um, where I was anywhere, there's no, like, strict format of things you have to do. It's just, yeah, you can be lazy or you can do something. I actually got a job in there so I could have something to do. 
So I was, uh, and I got the best job in the jail because they trusted me. They knew I wasn't going to like run. So I was, I was cleaning the warden's office in the lobby and I got to take the garbage out by myself into the parking lot where all the cars are. Cause they trusted me that I was going to come back and not like run down the street. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a job. It was maybe, You're maybe taking, time, wait, time out. You're taking <laughs> the trash outside by yourself. Yeah. To a parking lot. Is there, I, I envision a big gate with barbed wire that you there is, but I go out the front lobby doors because I had all access because they trust me. Well, she, of course you have all access. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Um, <laughs> if you want it to run, are yeah. you able to scale this wall and try no, to get over? Where I was, there were no, where I was going out to take the garbage out, there's no walls. It's just the parking lot in the street. You could have run, you could have run for your life. Yeah, I could have walked away. They, they probably wouldn't have realized I was gone for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, <laughs> but I didn't do it. <laughs> because if you get it, if you get an escape charge, it's like seven years in jail. So Holy you don't want to. But how yeah. dumb are they? I mean, you're, you're a very <laughs> likable girl. I've known you for years, but I wouldn't trust you taking out garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. And where, where the parking lot is, it's where all the COs park and all visitors park and stuff like that. So it was very easy. If somebody wanted to drive up, open a car door, you can dive in and boom. You'd be gone. Nobody would even know. Are you in an orange jumpsuit? No. What are you wearing? Are you wearing like a bikini? Like what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in these prisons? I, I wish to maybe know. I would have gone out sooner, but um, no. You wear you wear this like outfit. It looks like scrubs. It looks like medical scrubs. Oh, like you like a hospital scrub. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm thinking you're <laughs> you're in all orange. You're shackled. You got a big ball on your leg. Or you know, the color of chain the together. Color this gang, gang. like a burgundy color. So it's, it looked well, like you looked like a nurse. Yeah, if you didn't look close enough, you looked like a nurse. Yeah. Was this the same uh, jail that you were in before? Mm -hmm. so well, not the Pennsylvania one. I mean, I was in Pennsylvania before, but this is the Jersey jail that I was in before. Yeah. You were in Jersey. Okay, so you, when you walk in, you don't know anyone. <clears throat> no, this time I saw some people that were there the last time. <laughs> So you, you have friends. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call them friends. Acquaintances. Jail acquaintances. Yeah. Okay. J jail buddies. Well. Okay. Are they're you... not really my kind of people, so I don't really well, buddy up to them now. <laughs> I mean, look where you are, hon. Um, do you form alliances? Like, do you have like your little friends that you go watch TV with and play games? Yeah. And... Yeah, pretty you have much. to play cards with someone. You're not playing solitaire the whole time. That'll no, you play spades. Spades is the big jail game. I don't yeah. know how to play. play See, spades, I wouldn't fit in jail. But... I can't play spades. I don't like to take out the trash. I'd be the shits. It'd be <laughs> well, awful. No, I took the job so I can be out of the pod and away from everyone from 8 till 12 every day. So I was in hanging out in the warden's office, the administration offices, the sergeant's office that would clean and they would get me food from the officer's dining room. So I was eating cheeseburgers and cheesesteaks and you chicken salad. good stuff. Yeah, I got the good stuff. <laughs> so you're you're actually see this is why Tammy is is a smart cookie. She knows who to associate with and she right. knows how to get those brownie points because I'm sure they see you doing all these good deeds and they're like, "Huh, maybe you well, can get out a little earlier." If they well, no, see, that's the thing. You can you do get time off when you work there, but not for driving infractions. So I had to do every single day. But if you if you're like a drug addict and you're selling drugs in a school zone and you get a job, you can get time off. But just for driving a car, I couldn't get any time off. How does that it's make sense? It's so backwards. It's so ass backwards. <laughs> that really doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. It doesn't. There was a girl there that had multiple possession charges. She had a job too, not as good as mine. She didn't have the freedom that I did. She was um, cleaning some other offices, but um, she got out three months early on a year sentence on all these drug charges because she was working. So she got all that time off. Oh, okay. All right. But yeah, but you did it the right way this time. You, because the last five times or whatever it was you didn't have jobs right you were just oh, yeah. I worked in the kitchen up in the Pennsylvania jail you worked so in the I... kitchen were you like supergirl what were you doing did you say no <laughs> soup for you <laughs> what did you do no when you work in the kitchen you prep food you cook food you serve food you do dishes all, like pretty much everything it's like a com big commercial kitchen you can do everything for those of you who don't know this bitch can cook yeah 
she is a great, great cook. So, <laughs> but but you have to use the materials that yeah. you have in front of you, obviously. Were you trying yeah. to like doctor them up and make them like special? Yeah, I did. And I got in trouble for that because you're supposed to stay right with their menu. And I'm like, but this stuff sucks. So I'd be like putting <laughs> seasonings and doing my own thing. And I got in trouble a couple of times, but uh, you know, I was like, you're human, let them eat good food. Exactly. Because well, everything is, everything's usually bland with no flavor and no seasonings. And every time like the kitchen supervisors were like turned away, I'm like grabbing like all kinds of garlic powder and pepper and whatever. Right. Right. That, that's very like, good fellas like, of you, by the way. That's yeah, very that's yeah. exactly yeah. out of good fellas. It's the exact yeah. same thing. I'm thinking the, yeah, the slice really in the garlic. Thin. And then see when you work in the kitchen too, after you're done serving and everything like that and cleaning up the kitchen, then you can make your own food. So I was making like chicken quesadillas and all kinds of fun stuff, grilled cheeses, you know, so oh, I know stuff. how, I know how to get decent food. In jail. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're kind of glamorizing this whole jail thing right no, now. It's and not fun. It's not fun. And I'm never going back. Like I said, okay. your probation is done. That was the biggest headache. And um, yeah, thank God that's over with. As of May 21st, I'm done with them. They can do nothing else to me ever again. Um, and Jersey's totally different. Uh, like when I go to this jail here in Jersey, which is not going to happen again either. Most of the COs were wrestling fans at one time. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you walk in and it's like, Hey, Sonny, what's up? It's nice to see you again. And I'm like, Oh God, here we go. Yeah, exactly. But, and then there's a few that like, when I get out, they hit me up on Facebook, trying to date me. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. there's yeah there's a few and then there's a few like in jail that um they would like sneak me food from the officer's dining room into my like cell and stuff like that and like give a wink when they do it and mm -hmm. just in hopes that they'll get lucky after i get out but no it's not gonna happen i'll take the pizza but it's not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> pepperoni pizza um, tuesday, tuesday and friday was pizza night in there so i always got pizza from this one italian uh ceo he would always bring two pizza. nights you get pizza a week yeah what the uh, only me though are you oh only well you know not, not all of us are uh are what sunny. sunny wants sunny gets exactly <laughs> that's true but but seriously like mentally yeah how, how are you when you're in there because like for me um i don't like being like alone you know what i mean like i i, I would See, feel very isolated. i'm okay being alone i mean i'm i've always been kind of a loner as it is anyway so i had my own cell they didn't give me a roommate which was nice so I ever had my in the whole the whole time well, you know when i first got there i chose to have a roommate it was a girl i really got along with and we just like we bonded and we clicked so we were together but she was only there for three months and then she got out so then the rest of the time i was by myself which is great and they don't put me like every time somebody new comes in, they'll put them in with someone else and they let me have my own privacy cell and everything. And my cell was right by the TV. So even when I was locked in, I could still watch TV. So oh, I just make sure I get, you know, as many perks as I can while I'm there well, and make it as easy as possible. <laughs> listen, we're workers. That's what we do. You That's know, what we do. You exactly. To. But, you got to work it everywhere. <laughs> see, like mentally, I think it would, for me, it would kind of screw with my head. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, I'm like, we're, we're, we're goofing around about it, laughing about it, glamorizing it, but it's not glamour, glamorous at all. I mean, right. you have the worst products in the world. It's like dollar store shampoos and stuff like that. You have to buy on <laughs> now we're on to products. Come on, it's, girl. It's bad. I'm talking about mental health. No, but I'm saying that food. screws you with your mental health because you're using all this, like this, these horrible products and your hair gets shitty and your skin gets shitty and you look in the mirror, which isn't even a mirror. It's like this polished piece of stainless steel. So you can't really see yourself. Uh, but then I go and I do my cleaning in like the offices and I look in the real mirror in their bathrooms and I'm like, oh my God, this is just doing some cleaning and walking into the parking lot and taking out garbage and, you know, doing my thing. So, well, I was thrilled when I heard you were done yes and me too. You, you know <laughs> you and I I mean I don't even remember what year we met but I remember the first night I met you probably like 97 or 98 I don't know if you remember the first night we met but I do I um know. it was at the arena mm -hmm. and I was I don't know who I was walking with but I was like walking this way mm -hmm. you were walking this way Okay. And I remember everybody warning me about you. Don't be friends with her. Don't be friends. I, I didn't know you, so I didn't know. 
<laughs> and you know, for me, I have to like, t I take it with a grain of salt, but if you're good to me, I'm good to you. That's the way right. I look at things. Right. Me too. So you're coming mm -hmm. this way and all I, in the back of my head, I just keep hearing, don't be friends with her. Don't be friends with her. And you leaned over to me as we're walking and grabbed my arms and was like, I've been wanting to meet you. And I said, and I've been wanting to meet you. And, and we were, we kind of said, let's get together later. Cause we were both doing something uh -huh. like, I don't know if we were doing prom, we were doing something. Okay. And, and I like, I kept walking and I said, she doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, if you were such a bitch, well, why I, would you? You know I am, but not to everybody. Yeah, but <laughs> we're all a bitch in a sense. We all have our bitchy moments. But I mean, we I thought we clicked right then and there. And from that night on, we've been friends ever since. Yeah. And I always tell people, like, everybody's like, how, how is Tammy? And I'm like, look, I've been friends with her for 20 something years. Like, I love the girl. I loved working <laughs> with her. I loved her outside of the business i've never had an argument like a real argument with you no i don't think we've ever had an argument no like we've bickered about stupid bullshit but nothing yeah, but not like a fight we've not like you and dawn used to have no we've never been <laughs> mad at each other yeah no. you know what i mean like exactly. it's never come to that and all these people like i i don't know why you have such a bad reputation i think because when it comes to business, I can be a real bitch because I don't let people walk all over me. But that's a good thing. Yeah, because I, what I used to have to do a lot, and you were probably there at some shows, like with Chris, you know, he was a horrible businessman. Mm -hmm. Nicest guy in the world, <laughs> but he would let people screw him over left and right. He would take a show with a guarantee of, let's say, 750 and the promoter will walk up, hey, listen, I only have 300 Okay, that's all right. And I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. That's right. not okay. Right. So I would have to get in the promoter's face and demand the money and get bitchy and he would get paid. So I got that reputation of being, you know, the cunt in the business just because I don't let people walk all over me or him. But there were so many people I had to get in their face at shows because they didn't, they were trying to, you know, cut his money because they Chris knew. Chris would have worked for, yeah, Chris would have worked for free. Like he just right. loved the business right. so much. He, he just wanted He to could have had a $20,000 guarantee and the guy would say, hey, listen, I can't pay you tonight. Can I get you next year? Chris would be like, yeah, no problem. Oh, it's and it's like, no. So I would have to be the voice. So I got that reputation of being a bitch. But when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to business, business is business and you're not going to screw me or anybody I love over. Right. But, you know, but other than that, I think I'm pretty easy going. I, I, Listen, I, I mean, we've worked together so many times I know, and there was never a moment where either of us got hurt. No, nope. we laughed our asses off <laughs> under our hair. Especially when time. dresses pop off. Oh my God. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> Chad, do you know what she's talking about? Uh, I think we have talked about it before, but please. Uh... Yeah. The rubber dress. Yes, so we, we talked so about it. So Tammy and I frequented the fetish factory in, in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. Yes. Oh, was I was just there last year and then it's not there anymore. I, I was going to say, I don't it. think it's open anymore. I looked for it. I can oh, it remember. was, um, it was this place. It was expensive too. I don't know yeah. how we found it, but we found it. How and did it, was kind it of I like, think we just drove by it and saw it and said, Ooh, let's stop. She and like bondage. Yeah. We thought it'd just be like cool clothes and it was a whole bondage store. Yeah, it was like sex stuff. It was it was this crazy Those masks, store. like the zippers across the mouth. Yes, like, like the gas mask. And yeah. um, they, they, they had whips and changing butt. Remember when you first walked in, there were the butt plugs were like right at the door. <laughs> yeah. There were so many crazy things. Yeah, so here and we go, Chad. Like she and I think we're going to find some cool clothes for work. And we go in and it's all this bondage stuff. We're like, uh, okay. And the guy's like, hey, ladies, how are you hey, doing? And we're like, ew. <laughs> he was such a creep too. So, so Franny's looking through this rack of rubber clothing and she finds this awesome dress and the dress has a full zipper up the front and a full zipper up the back. I didn't find anything I liked, but she's like, I have to have this dress. It was okay. $400 too. $400 for a rubber dress. It was like a mer, it was a gown. It was a mermaid. Yeah. It was long, long and tight. Yeah. It was yeah. long. Wasn't it like a reddish color? It was red. Yes. It was hot red. It was like yeah. a red lipstick, like a, I don't know what they call it. Yeah. Devil red. So she and buys this dress. I bought this dress and I bring it to the arena and Paul says, well, you're only doing a run in tonight. And that's the only dress that I brought that day. And I was like, well, shit, I, you know, this, uh, I'm going to waste a $400 dress on like this 
five second run in, that's going to suck. Well, <laughs> little did I know that that clip would make it 10 shows in a row. <laughs> Basically, we, we had we had to run in on Bam Bam Bigelow. Yes, I, I don't even remember the setup. But okay, it was like I don't remember the whole thing, but we had to run in on Bammer. And I ran in first, and he basically just scooped me up onto his shoulder, like for his finish. Then you come running in, and he's supposed to scoop you up on his other shoulder for his finish. And he's supposed to have both of us up here. Now, I'm already up on his shoulder, you know, flailing in, in the breeze. You come running. You put one knee up on the apron to get up, back zipper pops open. <laughs> Whole thing. All you see I have is no bra on and I have the micro thong. So then she still gets in the ring, gets up to Bammer, and as he's picking her up onto her shoulder, front zipper pops open. Well, no, 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 no. No, yeah, that's it's it, and you're starting to hold it closed. And I'm already up on his shoulder and I look over and I just lost it. I just- No, you look at me and you go- my life. She and looks at me and she goes, off. you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> I just started laughing. And Bam Bam's face, like he looked like he shit a brick in his pants. Like he didn't know what to do. And so I was just here, like- Here we are up both on Bam Bam's shoulders, supposed to be afraid for our life. He's about to kill us. Laughing. And we are just cracking up. <laughs> she's naked on his shoulder with a little piece of rubber like because she's trying to cover her boobs with the rubber the whole back the only time. The only time i ever wore that 400 hundred dollar dress the thank god because it would have happened again <laughs> that is awful you know what my favorite spot is i think that we ever did i think it was in buffalo i think it was the burt flickinger center i don't know why this is popping in my head <laughs> i don't head. Even remember the name of that arena <laughs> the burt flickinger center because it had it was a cool building and it had like the bleachers went all the way up but the entranceway yeah um the entranceway was in the middle and then there were two bleachers here and i don't remember the match at all but i remember for some reason i went to the back mm -hmm. and we worked it out before and you and chris were supposed to grab me Shane is still in the ring and I remember saying to Chris go get a knife do you remember this no they aired it I said get some kind of a knife even if it's a butter knife because it'll be hysterical <laughs> I said and and like Tammy or you can hold me and the other person can put a knife to my throat I don't remember this oh yeah and we did it and it aired oh my god this must have been one of the drunk years I don't remember <laughs> We come, I run back and then we come out and Joey's like, oh my God, uh, Chris and Sonny have Francine. And it's like, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to have to watch this clip. <laughs> I don't remember what year. I want to say Burt Flickinger, but that is my, by far, oh my, God. my my funnest, more fun. I don't know. What, is that even a word? Funnest? funnest? Most my, fun. My most fun. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> my most fun spot that we ever did was him oh holding God. something up to my neck and you're just like rah, rah, and you're grabbing my hair and there's a, <laughs> some kind of weapon against me. it was just so much fun oh, butter knife oh my god I don't, I, yeah i said grab it, probably a butter was, knife. it probably was like a plastic butter it could have been a spork for all i know i don't know we were talking earlier about balls mahoney killing a shark with the spork remember that story? <laughs> oh my god That's we funny. had such fun we I'm trying to think what we did. So Tammy and I, we would go either early or stay late in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. We always did one or the other, went early or stayed late to have a couple days of vacation. Do you want to talk about tens? Yeah, of course. Tens was- oh, well, this, I, this I, stems from the fetish factory. Well, we got a card, right? Well, you're, they... you're buying the dress and the creepo at the register said, hey, ladies, there's a bondage party at 10s tonight. We said, what's 10s? He goes, a club. We said, okay, let's go. Now, party. little did we know that it was a strip club. We had no idea. With a name Never like that? <laughs> we didn't know. So we told the whole ECW crew, hey, let's all go to this club called Tens tonight. There's a bondage party. And everybody's right. like, yeah, okay, let's all go. Like the whole crew. So we get there and Franny and I are dressed like- We're, we're dressed, dressed like in gimmick. Around. Yeah, we're dressed in gimmick clothes, okay? And we go there, we walk in, we went, oh, it's a strip club, <laughs> okay? And it's bondage night. So everybody, all these strippers are dressed in like, you know, the pleather and whips and all this stuff. And we're like, okay, well, we're here. Let's just stay. And that was the beginning of a very interesting night. <laughs> so 
there, there are several things I remember <laughs> and I don't know how because I drank four Long Island iced teas that night. Yeah, you were pretty wasted that night. But that was the first night I ever took a Soma. Yes, it was. I remember and that. And who gave it to me? Did I? You gave me five. <laughs> I, listen, hey, I should have died. I think I should have died that night because. I, I would never have let you die. Because <laughs> you were fucked up too. Yeah. Well, yeah, you go was. here just take these, they'll be fine. And I'm like, hey, and I got my my uh, Long Island. I pop them. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. But there was no female bathroom. It was so, the locker room for the strippers. So what happened? You know. So Franny goes over and she's, when, she, when Franny drinks, she's not a very nice girl. She gets no, pretty nice. I, I no, time out. I am nice <laughs> unless you piss me off. Okay, yeah. And I get crazy. Yes. So she goes to the go, the girls' locker room because there's a men's bathroom and then just like the girls' dressing room. She opens the door and starts grabbing strippers and pulling them out. Get the fuck out of here. I got to take a piss. Because <laughs> they weren't letting me use their bathroom. So she, mean, literally, to to she was literally manhandling these strippers one by one, pulling them <laughs> out of the dressing room saying, get out of here. I got to take back. a piss. And they were just like, what's going on? And they all left and she went to the bathroom by herself. And I was standing there like, oh my God, I we're going to get I was beyond, I was beyond. But none thing. of them complained. They just did what you told them to do. I walked in and I said, listen, may I use your bathroom? I was nice at first. Right. And then they all looked at us because we weren't one of them. Right. And it was kind of like, well, get we out of here. better than they were. <laughs> well, that's what, remember the guys were like, oh, you look better. You should go on the stage. So Tammy yeah. jumped on the stage and starts jumping around the pole <laughs> and I'm trying to pull her off of the stage. Well, no, wait, wait. When I got on the stage, it was because the DJ said, if the girl in blue gets on stage with Mistress Erin, she'll win a free cruise. Mistress Erin. <laughs> remember Mistress Erin? <laughs> so I jumped on the stage and I basically stood there and I was like the pole for her. And she like danced around me and I picked up all her money and I won a free cruise. I didn't take the cruise. Remember, it was just like a weekend cruise down. Yeah, like, but I remember you spinning <clears throat> and the boys are, spinning. yeah. And the boys are like, get her off the stage. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then they're like, oh, and the, cause I had purple. Oh, the girl in purple. I'm like, no, 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 no. So I grab <laughs> you and I bring you down. Then there was a torture rack. Yeah, the, the torture rack. They said, if the girl in blue, no, 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 no. No, they didn't say the girl in blue. They said, if any of you big tough wrestlers have any balls, one of you would get on the torture rack. So none of the guys stood up. All, everybody was there. Perry Saturn, Cronus, Bammer, Shane, Chris, yeah. everybody was there. Nobody right. stood up and what did I do? I went, I'll do it. <laughs> It's, it's like the, you, you put your arms and your, your head, arms, your arms and your legs are strapped in like this X kind of a thing. And then they flip you up. So you're suspended in air, like parallel with the floor. So here, and then they had a whip. They had a whip. They had feathers. They had paddles, all kinds of stuff. So I'm strapped to this, this X rack and I'm dangling over the floor and there's like eight strippers around me and they're all like, you know, hitting me or whipping me or tickling me or something. And I'm cracking <laughs> up. The cameras start and going. Then, remember that guy, the guy crawls in under me with a camera and starts taking pictures. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here. And Perry Saturn grabbed him by the neck, pulled him out, threw him out of the club, grabbed his camera, smashed it on the ground, pulled all the film out. Oh. And turns out he was from playboy.com. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> trying to get pictures and Perry Saturn was like uh no this is not yeah. gonna happen and he just manhandled him broke his camera took the film out threw him out the door it was great and, and then I after that and after that though all the guys they were like let's let her have her fun so all the guys then stood around, around the rack with their backs to me and their arms folded so nobody could get in so I can just hang there and get whipped and tickled by stripper. and I'm standing there and I'm going you know, Tammy, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> Nobody's listening to me. They didn't care. But they, everybody was trying to block people from taking pictures. Because yeah, all the guys a, got up and stood around the- This the was a sight. Let me tell you, this it was, was funny. a sight. Mistress Erin, I'm not going to go any further, but <laughs> you, 
you know what I'm. Let's you know. just say Mistress Erin made about a thousand dollars off of Let's me. Let's just say if you know, you know, and that's all I'm going to say because oh, I'm not going to, not going to. Yeah, say anything. I got a lot of lap dances that night. <laughs> was that the same? Now, what was the night with the convertible? Was that the same night? I don't remember if it was the same day or, but it was definitely the same trip. It was the same trip. It was the same I'm trip. Right? It, it was, was during the, the day. It was during the day, though. It was during the day. Yeah, I don't no, remember. No, because if I was... wasn't messed up during the day. Oh yeah, you were. <laughs> no, where, where did we get? I didn't start drinking until we got to the bar. To no, ten. you pop, popped a couple of gimmicks. No, no, and no. You, the and you first fell time I ever. Car. No, the I never did gimmicks. The first time I did was with you at tens. Yeah, you so maybe it was the next day. That was night. No, I never took them after that. I didn't do so much. Well, you well you fell asleep. I was driving the convertible. It was daytime. You fell asleep in the front seat. And then when you woke up, you just like, we're just driving down A1A. And you just kind of like woke up and then turned and said, who the fuck are you? Wait to a the girl minute. In the now, back I remember being in the back seat with the girl in the middle of us. No, you were in the front yeah. seat. I was driving. You were in the front seat. She was in the back seat, like sitting in the middle, like towards us. Who was she? I don't know. know. Some redhead. Where did <laughs> no. you pick her up? You picked her she, up? No, she was hanging out with us all weekend. Did Everybody. I meet her before she got in the car? Yeah, she came and hung out at the pool with us. She, she did? Uh, yeah. I don't remember her name, though. Was she in the business? No, she was just a rat. What the hell? <laughs> a I rat with know. red hair that for some reason we- Yeah, she had red hair. Yeah. <clears throat> but you kind of just like opened your eyes and you went, who the fuck are you? And I'm like, really? Franny, she's been with us all weekend. Why did we pick up a stranger? I don't this is know. beyond my control here. I don't know. I don't remember exactly why we let her hang out with us or I don't remember all that stuff. But yeah, she hung out with us all, like the whole couple of days we were wow. there. Wow. See, I, my, gimmicks weren't my thing. See, I we are gimmicks. friends to fans and rats. <laughs> Yeah, ECW was very giving to the fans. Let's put it that way. I liked, like, all I used to do was, like, I would do shots. Um, yeah. I didn't really take pills. Now, no. I had pills on me when I got hurt, right. obviously, because, right. you know, when I broke my hip, the Dilaudid, I thought I was I was going to be murdered for my purse mm -hmm. because everybody was like, oh, oh yeah, she's got Dilaudid, <laughs> let's get her. And I'm like, no, these are mine. <laughs> I need them for my hip. Um but that, yeah, that's the night. I that's the first time, and I, I remember saying to myself, "How stupid are you to take five? <laughs> I'm so, yeah, I'm surprised you're even conscious. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I remember, I remember you falling into into the table, and you fell over a bunch of chairs. Where you, at tens? At tens. I don't yeah. Remember. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You fell right on your ass. I think you, oh, I know what it was. You, I, I pie faced you. <laughs> <laughs> I pie faced you because I remember you said to me, you go, and I know you were breaking balls, but you go, could you imagine if you and I started making out right now, this whole place would go nuts. You, said you were so fucked up. And I said, get out of here. And I grabbed you by your face and I pie faced you, but I didn't realize how hard I pushed you. And you fell into the table and you fell over chairs. And then I went and I picked you up because I felt bad. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I, oh my God. Look, I, for being as weird as I was that night, I remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know how, because I was obliviated. Oh I was obliviated. And I remember the stage and the bathroom. Mm hmm and you and I just drinking, yeah. drinking, drinking. And yeah, I think that's the most I ever drank. I've never seen you drink like that before ever. That no. was, and then we got tattoos that same weekend. We got tattoos. Yes, we did. What yeah. did, did I get the butt one with you or did I get my No, ankle? you got your ankle. Got my ankle. Yeah. And what, what did you get? I got my Superman and Superman. then so that's Chris right. and Jane. Cause I went and, first. And, remember I went first. Do you remember first. you leaving me to stay yes. with Chris? Yes. I went, I went first and I got my Superman on my tailbone. And then I said, all right, I'm going to the bar next door. So I leave them there. I think Chris was next. And when I come back, he's crying like a baby, getting his arm tattooed, squeezing Franny's hand so tight, like her hand is purple. And I'm like, what? It's not even So you left bad. again. And then I left again. Yeah. <laughs> nice girlfriend. She leaves me with Chris. He's a blubbering idiot. He's just crying. 
<laughs> I'm going, it's okay, it's okay. She walks in, she goes, oh God, walks right back out. I'm going back. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, that was at Bulldogs. Bulldogs, yes. They're not there anymore either. I looked for them last year too. It's happening to Fort Lauderdale. I know. Now it's a clothing store where Bulldogs was. Oh. Yeah, I looked for them. I loved, I loved, that was my favorite town to visit. I know. Really so was. We would fun. go to the beach. We would go to the pool. We well, got kicked out of the pool. Yeah, we got kicked out of the pool. <laughs> Should we tell Chad about that? You can do it. I'd love to hear it. Uh, this is great. <laughs> okay, so down in Florida, um, believe it or not, thongs are against the law. You're not really allowed to wear a thong on the beach and especially in really nice hotels, you're not allowed to wear them poolside. So Franny and I, of course, all we pack is thong bikinis. So we're at the pool and we decide to play a game of chicken. Franny gets on Shane's shoulders. I get on Chris's shoulders and Franny and I are playing chicken in the pool. And all you see from behind is a string across our backs and a string down our butt. That's it. So from behind, we're pretty much naked. So we're playing chicken and then the guys leave and then I dive under the water. I get under Francine and I pick her up on my shoulders. That's right, you picked me up. I picked her up on my shoulders and I walked out of the pool and we're walking around on the pool deck in thong bikinis with her on my shoulder. So from behind, you see two girls just with a string across our backs and a string down our ass. (laughs) <laughs> and then oh. our manager or somebody came out and we got in trouble and we got because they complained school. the people, yeah, people the other complained. people complained about it but can but i just family say, there and... there's kids there and we're walking around damn naked. complainers <laughs> we were really disgusting <laughs> i i feel like you're one of the strongest girls i've ever met in my life because she this girl just picked me up whoosh out and now granted i was a lot thinner back then but still you're you're like you're st- strong. Yeah. Like you uh, got like man strength or something. <laughs> like I was just like, holy shit. I, yeah, said, I just, I just went underwater, put, put, got you under my shoulder, on top of my shoulders, picked you up, walked up the pool steps out of the pool and then we're walking around the pool deck with you on my shoulders. It was just, it was crazy. But yeah, there were families there and kids. So I guess they complained that two they girls complain. that were practically naked were acting like that. We got kicked We were disgusting. Of- we were yeah, really... We were we were, we were disgusting. And what did we say? We said, well, fuck you then. And we went to the beach. And well, we didn't say it to their face, but no. we were mad. We yeah. Because I, like, you know, we're I paying tried like to be respectful. $400 a night for this hotel and we can't even wear what we want at the pool. That's true. We did stay at a really nice hotel. Mm-hmm. We did that several we times. We always stayed at the nicest hotels. I know. I know. We I had think a, a Marriott seriously... Harbor Beach Resort down there. What was it? The Marriott Harbor Beach That's Resort. Right. And yeah. wasn't the beach right across the street or something? It's right on the beach. Uh, okay. Yeah. And this is where I stayed last year too. So there were fond memories when I was there. I was thinking about you and the pool. Yeah. We did have fun. It was a lot of fun. We did vacation a lot. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale was always a good time. <laughs> that was the best time. Yeah. That was the best time. I love the beach. I love, like I said, I love the nightlife there, but we were out of control. Yeah, we well, were. we didn't like we didn't but see, we, sh- we thought our shit didn't stink. That's why we did anything we wanted to do. So well, we were in our 20s. I, I think even, you know, I look at, uh, you know, these kids today and they're, they're not celebrities or superstars or anything. They still think their shit doesn't stink. It's because the, the, it's youth. Right. It's the youth of today. Right. right. So it was, we it was were, it was a good we, were, we were just acting our age, but we were yeah disgusting you know if we, if, we were, if we were there now and saw 20 something girls doing that we would be like ah. yeah aren't you ashamed where i would say where is your mother where is your mother because she should on. Say you, you're a pig you little pig and i'd wink at her disgusting oh my god yeah we were we were a little bit out of control on those fort lauderdale trips but my kids know. will never hear these stories by the way because no. <laughs> her mother was an angel and didn't go out and didn't do anything but, um, god i wish yeah. i was in ecw that's all i could say that's uh, all we, could yeah say. we had a lot of fun I mean, it was a good time and it was a good time in it, like it was never work like i always tell right. people i right. never felt like i was at work or at a job right because yeah. it was always fun it was never a chore even if I had an early flight I didn't care I I, the countdown was on when I got home Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait to go back yeah and and see everybody and hang out and work because it it was just a good time man and that's the one thing I mean you know you worked all over the place and Mm -hmm. I've never 
had that feeling anywhere else. It's yeah. never been the same and I've never even come yeah. close to it. No, it was a lot of fun being on the road at that time with that crew because everybody, it was kind of like a big happy family and everybody kind of looked out for each other. Right. Especially at like the strip clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, but, sure. You know, but uh, no, we always, we always managed to have some kind of fun. It would never felt like work. No, not at all. I mean, even when the checks were bounced and that sucked. That sucked, yeah. Yes, but we were still enjoying ourselves as much as we could, so. Exactly. Um, Making the best of it. Yeah, it, absolutely. But, I, but I've, I've said it, you know, I've said it for the last 25 years or whatever. I've always enjoyed you. Always. I, I, I can't. You always know, had fun. There, there's not a bad thing in or out of the ring that I can say. You yeah. know what I mean? Personally, our, our connection, it's always been strong. I'm thrilled that things seem to be going right for you because I think we're really good right now. Yeah. Really and good. I always, you know, I say people want to see you fail. Of course. They, and it bothers me. And it's like, <laughs> why would you wish something like that on someone? Because you know? people are assholes. There's so many cool <laughs> people in the world. You know what I mean? They don't like to see someone succeed. They like misery loves company and people love to see people fail. Well, I but, don't, I like to see my friends thrive. Right, and exactly. I want you to thrive. I want you to blossom. And, and you know, you, you've been caged up for so long the last, I don't even know how many years. Five years of probation in and out for stupid shit. Yeah. Right. But that's all done. It's all done. As of okay. May 1st, they have no control over me. And that can't get in trouble for, you know, anything anymore. So it's good. And, and I'm not driving. Do. So it's not. And you're, it's, you're and I don't drink anymore. I don't drink anymore. You're not drinking. You're not I driving don't drink anymore. So you're yeah. focusing on you. Yes. I'm looking at you. Look at me. You're focusing <laughs> on you. Okay. Because we've talked about this yes. earlier. Yeah. Um, I saw a tweet from you that that I'm very intrigued about. Okay. Uh, I I think you know what it is, but if you don't, Probably. I'm gonna. It's about your OnlyFans because you're back right. on OnlyFans. Now yeah. I did OnlyFans. And it's doing amazing. It's only well, I did it. And it was a disaster. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just tell you. Because I don't show the goods. And uh, people got mad at me. And, you know, it was, it was five months of a lot of begging and a lot of fuck off. And it, it just didn't. It wasn't me. Right. And, but you're, you're, you're doing wonderful. But I saw a recent tweet looking for co-stars, male or female. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> What are you pitching? And is this a ruse? Is this is this a gimmick? What what is uh, what are you offering to these people? Because you're basically talking to the fans right now, right? What what is the what is the if I respond and I say, "Hey Tammy, I'm a 49 year old female who wants to be." Oh, those cousin. are the messages I get. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying. What what are you writing me back? What are you offering me? I am offering my members, well, a one member. You have to be a member. You have to be a member. I'm, okay. I mean, I'm not going to just pick somebody off the right. street. I mean, when these people are subscribing, you know what I mean? So I'm going to let one of them have the chance. You yes. Know? Okay. So one person to be in a photo shoot. Okay. Not necessarily saying that all kinds of crazy shit's going to happen. Sure. You could be at the goddamn zoo looking at the lions. For, you know what I mean? Who knows? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I think that, um, I think the internet has taken it and run with it with their own story. It's not like I'm looking for a like sexual co-star kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm giving someone an opportunity to be in some pictures. That's pretty okay. Much all right. Look, I, I, well, first of all, this is a great platform to promote it, right. to get some more members. But oh, yeah. when I read I've, that, already, I've already been sent some links to some internet sites that were like taking it and running with it. Like, oh, well, they like, always do. Like it. I'm casting for a porno. No, it's not. Yeah. I mean, you could burp and they would, they would put the story as, you know, exactly. she's got, oh my God, she's got, you know, she's got a disease. IBS or, this, or something. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Oh my God. The burping. Yeah, exactly. They, they, they love to, uh, of course, blow you up, but, um, okay. So what is your OnlyFans page? Where can they find you on there? 
you can go to www.onlyfans.com forward slash WWE H-O-F-E-R Sunny. So WWE Hall of Famer Sunny, basically. Okay. And you're, but you're you back. My, you you're can go to my Twitter page day. and click on a link to get to it and everything. Yeah. And it's been fantastic. Um, at three o'clock today will be the end of my fourth day back on there. And I already have, hold on, let me pull it up. I check it every so often because it's just constantly growing. I already have. 1,298 active members. Wow. <laughs> yes. And I'm not going to tell you how much money has come in, but no, if, I wouldn't ask, but people know the membership price. And if you do the math, you can figure it out. And I'm actually offering a 10% discount for this first month as like a welcome back kind of thing, just to welcome Aren't you generous. I know. I'm so You're sweet. so generous to your fans. <laughs> 10%, <laughs> so huh? <laughs> 10% off. So for the first month. So instead of the regular $29.99, it's, um, I think, $26.99. Hold on. I forget already. Oh, well, you could take that three, $3 and go to Wawa and get a coffee or, or a sub or something. <laughs> so yeah, a hoagie. Yeah, I'm down with that. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. I forget exactly how much. Yeah, 20, no, well, no, we're not. $26.99 they pay now instead of $29.99 for this okay. person. As a All welcome. Right. So, so this means that if I see you, uh, lunch is on you because yes. um, you're making $78 million a month. <laughs> and, Actually, um, a trip to Hawaii would be on me right uh, now. I wish. I wish. <laughs> and I have to ask you um, off air about a booking because you're booked and I just got an offer for it and I wanted to ask you. Okay, for what? But I'll, I'll do that when we're done. Um, what else? Is, is anyway, there so join the site. Seriously, these people join the site. It's okay. a lot of fun. Okay. There's everything on there from a casual selfie out at the store or at the gym to, you know, a little bit a little more suggestive. Oh, yeah, a little bit more suggestive. But um, it's all it's all fun stuff. There's nothing harmful. There's nothing. There's nothing that would be like you know. Oh my God, I can't believe you're doing that. It's nothing worse than Playboy. Yeah, it really Look, is. if you feel comfortable, right? Why not? Right. For me, I didn't feel comfortable, right? And it's a different situation. I, I got kids. Uh, it's right. it's different. It's a different exactly. dynamic. I I don't throw stones at anyone. You do right. you. Make that money. Well, see, I'm kind of an exhibitionist as it is, and you mm. know, I didn't I'm, know. I'm, I know, <laughs> Mr. I'm, Saren. <laughs> Mr. Saren, where are you, Mr. Saren? Can you imagine if she responded to this? That'd be, <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um, probably, what else? She's probably like a crack whore now with no teeth or something right. like that. I don't know. She's okay. She was really um, pretty. But um, no, it's, it's just a fun site. People can request custom videos or custom pictures. I have a lot of people asking for pictures on my feet. So. Yeah. I, I think feet. what fetish is the most harmless fetish right. out there. Right. That doesn't offend me at all. Exactly. So and let me tell um, you, I think my feet are God ugly and people, I like my feet. <laughs> okay, but I don't like my feet because they're Let's big. See them. Pick one up. My foot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my sweatpants on, but. You have to pay extra for that. They're big. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. They're big. They're a nine. They're a nine. And they're huge. You're tall. And you have to have big feet. You got to balance all that height out. <laughs> I'm not that tall. I'm only five, six and a half. I say I'm five, seven, but, but in my oh, heels, you're a lot taller than that. No. Well, I always had the heels on next to you. Next to you. Platforms. You were up to here and I was up to here. Yeah. Um, and then your hair was always, you know, my big. hair was big. Yeah. Big hair. Don't care. You look like, like a giant Amazon a giant. girl. Well, yeah. But anyway, no, 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 the website's a lot of fun and I answer every direct message that comes through on there. So it's not like, there's a lot of pages out there that these models or porn stars or whoever have that if somebody writes to them, they get like this instant reply back that goes out to everybody and all they're trying to do is sell them extra things. Nothing's mm. personal. But with mine, it's basically like, they're not just paying the membership price to look at pictures and videos. I'm interacting with everybody. Yeah. I answer every single message that comes in personally. I answer questions. It's not just, you know, like a, a pre-recorded message that gets sent back to everybody as a response. It's everything is one-on-one -on -one and personal. And that's what everybody's been saying that they love my page because it's the interaction that they get. Yeah, you know and I mean? it's time consuming. I, I'm on the computer all day. Yeah, yeah all day long. it's very time. I mean, I didn't have as many members as you when I did it, but I think I was up to like 300 and something. And mm -hmm. I was getting, I was having to do the same thing. Yeah, I was answering every, and I was always on the phone, always yeah. on the computer. And it's I was all like, day this is a full-time job. Yeah, it's all day from when I wake up until I go to sleep. 
It's wow. all day long. But it's paying off. If I'm out doing something, I was getting a pedicure the other day and I'm on my phone answering messages. <laughs> that's I'm great. serious. Yeah. It's all day thing. So it's a total full-time job, but I don't mind doing it. It's, it's just fun. You know, it's just, and there's a lot, I mean, you get a lot of creepers out there. I've only had to block five people so far. So far, well, you've only been doing it for four days now. Oh, no, this so. is from last year. I didn't block oh. it. <laughs> last year I had to block five people because some people can get pretty rude. Yeah. But um, but mostly everybody's really nice and really cool and they just want that interaction and they just want to get to know you kind of thing. Right. Yeah. I so, think it's great. Hey, do it while you can. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because pretty soon we're going to be in, in yeah, with our walkers and uh, our yeah. oxygen tanks and <laughs> nobody's going to want to see. Oh, okay. Now I'm up to 1300. I'll show you the, uh, oh, look at that. Active, the active right there. 1300. Yes. So I just, wow. now I'm at 1,300 active members. See, this, this is why she's a bitch. She, she's rubbing it in my face. That <laughs> no, she has 1,300 The number just keeps going, going up as we sit here. It grows. Well, now it grows I'm ordering, really fast. listen, I'm ordering mozzarella sticks with the burger because okay. your numbers just went up. So <laughs> get ready. Um, do you feel like uh, you have to take bookings at this point? Because you're doing so well, you can literally stay home and never leave your house to make money. Yeah, like last year, um, well, because of COVID, there were no bookings, of course, but um, I was doing so well with this, I didn't, ha I wouldn't have to take bookings. Um, do you I want actually, to them now? I actually started like, uh, it was probably about five days ago, six days ago now, I advertised that I was going to start to take bookings again because I didn't open the site yet. So I just started planning some for stuff. Like I'm still like, I'm just getting over COVID. I was sick with COVID for three weeks. Um, I'm still just getting over and still coughing a lot of still have a lot of congestion. I'm, my energy's not there. So I'm taking the next month to just totally get back in shape because I lost a lot of muscle because I've laid in bed for three weeks. So I'm going to get back in the gym, put still some strong back on. What? You're still strong. <laughs> So I'm the, taking this next month to just get back in shape and get totally healthy again. And then my first booking is until August 14th. But when I announced that I was going to take bookings again, the first 36 hours after that, it was just constant emails and bookings. And now I have like 22 dates through the end of November. Wow. Yeah. It's just okay. insane. There's not a weekend that's free. So, um, so I did that and I was like, okay, so at least some work's coming in. And then I, I was like, you know what, maybe I will, because I wasn't going to open the site until like September, until once I got back in shape and everything like that, to like totally healthy. And I said, you know what, what the hell, let me open it, see what happens. And boom, it just blew up again. That's so, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So I don't even need to take the bookings. Well, that, that's, like, that was really because well. before, be, you know, when I was talking to you, you had told me, I don't want to take bookings anymore. I just want right. to do this. Right. And now you're taking bookings. So I didn't know where your mind was at, but. Yeah, I was, I'm, I was bored. And now I'm single. So it's not like, like before I didn't want to take bookings also because I lived with my boyfriend. So I was like doing the, the housewife kind of thing and mm -hmm. making breakfast and dinner every day and go to the gym and doing, you know, the home life. Well, now I'm single, so I'm bored. So I figured yeah, booking, something to do, something to do, go, yeah. go out on the weekends and, you know, have some fun, but it'll also give me another chance to promote the site once oh, I'm out of course. There, you know? Yeah, Every time I sign an autograph, if they're over 18, I'll give them a card and say, hey, join the site. 17 and a half, close enough. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, 18, thank you. Maybe, um, maybe that one, I'm going to text you, but maybe that one booking we can room together. Oh yeah, which one. booking was it? Because I, I don't, we didn't even I talk about it. I think it's in, it's supposed to be a Nashville one, the uh, Hazard. Oh, the Hazard Fest. Yeah, yeah. Are you definitely yeah. doing it? Uh-huh, yeah. Yep. I'm going to find yep. out later today and I'll text you and I'll let you know. And I, okay. But I think yes. I'm only for one day. So it would just be like Saturday night if you want to. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can tell them to we'll over them together. We'll have fun. You want to show up fun. with me? Yeah. So, so All right. We'll do that. Well, where do people find you on social media? Um, I, on my Facebook page, of course. Um, it's under my real name, Tamara Lynn Sitch. And it says Sunny in parentheses. Um, I do have a personal page on there too, but that's only for friends and family. And I'm know. on that page, but I never yes, use Facebook. <laughs> I banned Facebook um, from my life. So. And then Twitter, of course, is uh, WWE HOFER -E Sunny. Um, I do have an Instagram page, but I never use it. But I think I'm going to start. I hate just it. To promote. I hate it. I, I don't you like need to do it because you, you have a lot going on. Right. I, I, I opened it. I posted some pictures and I just, I just never got into Instagram, but maybe like, I hate maybe selfies. I hate taking pictures. I, oh, hate... I take selfies all day long. <laughs> yeah. See, I, hate, I, that's, that's part of the reason why I hate it. Only fans. Cause I hate it. Yeah, you have pictures. to keep the content up. You have, yeah. you know, I give them a few it. pictures a day. And like I said, even if I'm just out shopping at the grocery store and my hair is in ponytail, I'll just be like snap. And then I'll yep. post. 
because they like to they like to see what I do all day long they you know what exactly. I mean and then exactly. they always get a good morning picture before I even get out of bed they see me first thing in the morning I'll show you I the, look like show you have you seen Frozen have you seen the movie Frozen this was this morning's good morning picture that I posted okay now if you saw the movie Frozen, when Anna wakes up on Coronation Day with her hair all crazy and the drool coming over, that's Thank me. You. No one wants to see this mug in the morning. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm good. Uh, but uh, seriously, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm happy we got to sit down. It's been a while since we actually really talked. Talk. And you got the first podcast. I usually give I it got to the first Ross, podcast. you got the first one. I, I broke the news about how jail's not really that bad. <laughs> still no, like it it's no bad. listen it's it sucks but when you're there you just have to find ways to make the best of it yeah well you, you know, did I, I'm on the phone all you know when if I'm not at work I'm at the, on the phone all day or I'll play cards or I'll watch tv and oh god I read 32 Michael Connolly books while I was there who's my new right. favorite author but um you know you just like it's it does suck but you just have to make the best of it can you go on the internet when you're there no we didn't have internet some some okay. places do but we didn't yeah and you don't have a phone right they take your phone Oh yeah, you can't have a cell phone in jail. I don't know. <laughs> There's well, actually, but the only thing you can use is old-fashioned pay phones, and they're on these like poles and like old-fashioned like. No, you don't put quarters in. Um, everything's like like a, you can either call collect or put money on a debit account, and it deducts from that. Oh. But so yeah, it's just a lot of phone calls and a lot of reading and television. And if you if you're lucky enough to get a job, that keeps you busy. But yeah, it's, it, it, gel sucks. You just like like I said, you just have to learn how to make the best of it. Right. And then there's commissary food you can order and buy, so you can get like food and you can cook and make different things and yeah. So I did that a lot. I spent a lot of money on commissary food because oh, the sure. food they feed you is disgusting. Well, you had that OnlyFans money to spend, so you can buy lobsters <laughs> and caviar in jail. It's all good. There's a um, limit, $150 a week, so you have to really be careful. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But I was like, I was ordering like tuna packs, chicken packs, making, you know, as much as I could. Doing, you know, doing what you can. We have a microwave so you can cook. So you just got to make the best of it yeah. and hope, hope your time goes by fast. But luckily, no more. No all more. Done. Okay. No, well, I, I'm, I'm going to keep you in check. I know you will. <laughs> I mean, straight can come out obviously, but I honestly, I'm thrilled that you're home. Thanks. I'm happy. And um, I just hope for nothing but the best. I hope bigger and better things come and screw everybody who is a hater because. Oh yeah. Hey, you know what I always said? I love my haters because they're, they're the best form of free publicity. There you go. The more they hate and the more they talk, the more it keeps you relevant. And yeah. they don't even realize it. They mm -hmm. want to, they can hate as much as possible because if it keeps them talking, it just keeps your name out there. I got you. And they don't even realize that the more they, if they want to talk shit about OnlyFans or whatever, all it's going to do is spark interest in somebody that hears it and say, ooh, what's this about? And they're going to go on and subscribe. True. So hate all you want. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to have you back on because you and I have a project. I'm not going to say what it is, but besides right. the signing, we have a project coming a up that project. I haven't announced it yet because I, I didn't even read my contract. Mm -hmm. I didn't read it yet either. Okay. I'm going to read it tonight. Read <laughs> yeah. Let's read it tonight and, and compare notes on it. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun and yeah. we're going to spend a significant amount of time together on that as well. So that's, that's a good time that I'm looking forward to, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Thank you for about. choosing us to uh to break the news that you're Jim Ross is going to be so pissed because he always gets the first one <laughs> Jim? Jim yeah oh. he could take his yeah, seat back Jim. on this he one he always gets the first one so he's kind of he's probably I'm probably going to get a text from him being like hmm. well tell him I love him because he's a good man but um I love you I love you too. yes I know you do and just stay on the the right path and and do sure. good and be good, and you will get good. And hey, as long as I don't get behind the wheel of a car, I'm good to go. Uber, Uber is your trouble. friend. It's in your phone. Just push the button. You'll be, you'll be fine. But.